welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a couple of weeks since I've done a video. It's been school holidays and everything and getting them back to school last week. But I'm hopefully going to get back on schedule now. So today's video is going to be a, what are we now, September's box unbox, glossy box unboxing and a August box review. So we'll get straight into what I've got in the September box. So this month it's a really nice red box, which I thought was really, really nice. It says the Editor's Choice from Red. And then it's got, if I can get into it or not, the, uh, the red paper with the white ribbon and also it's got the white tissue stuff as well. So that's the box. Then for what we've got inside, one of the things that it said was a sneak peek from last month was that it was going to get a sample of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It was either going to be the waterproof one or the original one. I got the waterproof one and I absolutely love it. There is no mascara that I've tried that's um, matched up to my uh, Bourjois, I think it's one, two, I think it's three second volume mascara. I absolutely love that mascara and none have ever matched up to that but this one does and definitely think that I will be buying this. It is got an RRP of £19 and the one I buy now is 10 so it's not too much more but I absolutely love it. So definitely definitely recommend this. Like I say I got the waterproof one. It says it gives you 1944% more volume. That's the before and after picture on the thing and I do absolutely, absolutely love this. So it's got an hourglass shape. I love the I'm assuming the packaging for the actual full size is the same, but the waterproof one has got like all little water droplets all over it. I thought that was really cool. I'm assuming the full size one's like that as well. Oh yeah, you can see the hourglass sort of shape wand. But absolutely love this mascara and would definitely recommend anyone that hasn't really got any lashes and needs loads of volume. To definitely, definitely give this one a try. So that was the first thing. The second thing I've just tried now, just painted my nails, and we've got a top coat which is the Colors Revlon Color Stay Gel Envy Diamond Top Coat. So I thought I'd give this a go, so I've just tried it on now, so I will let you know um, what it's like in the next video. Nail varnishes don't usually stay on me, so I thought, right, I'll try this one out and and see if it makes my nail varnish last more than 24 hours, which usually it doesn't. So that's that. And the next thing we got is a the Organic Pharmacy Antioxidant Lip Balm, soft and smooth with shea butter, rose hip to keep lips, lips soft. I really, really like this. I've tried it. My lips have been swelling up a little bit recently because I've realised that I'm allergic to my um, toothpaste, so they've been swelling up a lot, sort of along the inside, and I started to get a bit sore on the outer parts, but it's gone now because I've stopped using the toothpaste. But this did help when they were feeling a bit sore. It smells really, really, really nice. So that's that. So I was really, really impressed with that. But we'll keep giving it a go and we'll keep letting you know what it's like. Then another thing that I'm quite excited to try, I've never tried anything like this before, is a Hydra face mask. 120 hours of hydration with AMF. The mask contains the patented AMF artificial moisturising factor, which enhances the skin's ability to retain moisture. AMF has been clinically proven to keep the skin hydrated for up to 120 hours. This has got one hydro gel, full face mask, enclosed, and it's the Rose of Jericho. Jericho extracts and changes and further optimizes moisture and retention in the skin. So that is that. So I'm really excited to try this. Not tried anything like this before. So we'll give this a go and I'll let you know next month. So actually the last thing that's on my card, the last thing that's on my card is the Rodeal Smoky Eye Pen. So this has got an RRP of £17. I am not very good with eyeliners but this goes on really, really nicely. I've got a foundation mark on my hand from, 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 from this morning, but that is it. That was really, it goes on really, really easily. Let's see if I can show you. I really need a soft hand with that, so I might give that a go because I'm not very good with it. With them, um, when they're really, really hard to go on, I just can't get it too, too near my eyeline and just not very good with pencil ones, but I will use it on my waterline. But that is that one. try and we'll let you know and then also I got this from the body shop which I won't be trying because I'm allergic to nearly all of their products 
so I'm not going to give it a go. I might, I might do because it's like a, a mask, but we will see because my skin is just starting to get better now. Uh, this is the Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. It's just a little sample of it, and it's obviously a few, a few you can get. But I've got a sample of that one. These have got an RRP of fifteen pound and a hundred percent vegetarian mask recipe. So that is not on my list. That was obviously just an extra. I will give that to go and I will again let you know if I decide to use it. Right, now I will go on what do I got in what now I will go on to what I got in the August box. So the first thing as you know I was sent the MUA palette which was the wrong one. So this month they did send me the right one. So I haven't tried this one yet but I know that I really really love it. I've tried this one. I've used that. I've used the white one for like in, in the inner corners of my eyes and underneath my brow bone and stuff. Like I said, the other colours aren't really ones that I use every day. I will definitely get used to it. Use of it on nights out and things. This one is definitely more of my sort of shades. I love the. I love all of these colours and these. Is, this will probably become one of my like regularly used daily things. It is the Hall of Fame one and it contains twelve of the most popular shades ever. And I can see why they are because. They are sort of my favourites, so I'll definitely, definitely be giving that a go. And I'll let you know next month more about that. But like I say, that was that was a replacement for this one that they sent me wrong. So the next thing I got was this cow shed wild wild cow invigorated body lotion with uh, with es essential oils of lemongrass, ginger, and rosemary. Really, really like this. I've been using it. I don't tend to moisturise. I'm really bad remembering to do it, but I have been doing it sort of because we've just been on holiday and with the, with the sunny, and I've got my legs out more. I've been shaving my legs more, so I've been using it when I've been shaving my legs, and it really, really helps um, them not to sting, which they seem to do when I when I've um, shaved my legs. And I also, oh, I always drop things in these videos. Um, I always get like the red bumps after I've shaved and that's probably because I don't um, moisturise but this has definitely definitely helped with that so really really like that really really nice and it smells really good too I'll just look at my car and see how much that was that's £20 I don't know if I would spend £20 on it just for when I shave my legs but still really nice if that's the sort of price point you usually do for moisturiser the next thing is this brush and I absolutely love this face brush it gets my makeup off like nothing ever has before I use my regular face wash and just sort of do it in circular motions I do it down my neck I do it everywhere obviously not on my eyes because it's too harsh for that but absolutely love this it's always covered in foundation about four or five goes on my face and it's still getting foundation off and nothing has ever sort of lived up to that and I think that's why my um, this and another thing that I got in the box is I think why my face is getting a lot better this last few weeks so definitely definitely love this and would recommend this this has got an RIP of £6.99 but for £7 I don't think you can go wrong definitely so you can give this a try this is from so this is from spartu.com and I definitely recommend giving it a go because it's absolutely brilliant then the another thing that I said I've been I've been using this this is the mud masking facial detox purifying recovery mask absolutely love this I've used this twice this month I did use it yesterday it leaves your skin feeling lovely I've been poorly I've poorly over the weekend so I thought I'd treat myself to a face mask on yesterday while the kids were in the bath last night and absolutely love it, it it's definitely once I've used it I can, in the morning my, my, uh, feel like my spots have dried up absolutely brilliant absolutely love this i think though it's really expensive yeah 53 pound i don't think i will, will ever buy this so i'll have to find something that's quite similar that's cheaper if anybody knows of anything please let me know but absolutely do love it and it's a shame that it's so much because i mean i suppose that's why maybe it works really well on my skin because it is a more expensive product but it's not something that's sort of in my price range to spend every day i don't know how big the actual um full size is so maybe I should check that out because it might be bigger than I'm expecting but yeah absolutely love that brilliant product we'll definitely give that a try if if you can afford it basically and then the last thing that we got last month was this makeup bag I don't think it's actually called a makeup bag it's called a mini, mini monogram pocket from Ray Feather they've got an RIP of £20 I use this I don't use it regularly 
because I have my makeup in separate boxes to keep it all separated but I did use it when I went on holiday I put my makeup brushes in it and it was perfect for that so it is a really good little handy bag I might start using it in my I'm going back to work in a couple of weeks and I might like put my essential makeup bits in there so my pens and things and bits and pieces because I'm going to have to start taking a little handbag that's the point I need to buy a handbag because I can't take the change of bag to work best sort that out reminded me about that anyway so yeah I really really do like this like I said not using it every day but I probably will when I get back to work for my essential bits and bobs so that I think is everything yep that was everything we got in August box and everything we got in the September box I'll review everything in as usual in the, from the September box in the October box that's everything for this video thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video if you haven't subscribed already please do please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and any other videos you would like to see please let me know in the comments down below thanks for watching bye